What happens when a great potential is poured down the drain due to a life of crime? Mohammed Jaraya's life unfortunately has turned into a life lesson for many both within and outside his world. At a very young age, he had achieved so many goals and was on the lead to becoming the next great thing in the world of kickboxing. However, the great expectations seem to have been jeopardized because of his entanglement in shady activities and several suspensions and accusations. What finally broke the horse's back? Is this the end game for him? In today's video, we will be discussing the life, times, and trial of Muhammad Jaraya. Be sure to stay with us till the end of the video to find out every detail. Before diving deeper into what seems like a near end for the all-time young champion, let's take a brief look into his background to know who exactly he is. Born in June 1996, the 26 years old Moroccan kickbox champion started his career at the young age of 17. He is from the city of Denbosch, also known as the home to featherweight champion Robin van Roosmalen. As already known, his age was a factor, and he was often underestimated before the kickboxing world had the knowledge of what had hit them. Commendably, most of his opponents were very fierce and gave their best until they were defeated. The champion still stands strong despite his absence for a while. Very early into his career, he soon became the fans' favorite because of his skills, flexibility, bravos, and obvious strength. Although still quite young, he was nicknamed and known professionally as the Destroyer for his ruthless and impeccable skill. Due to his record of having the most wins in the distance and accepting victory after his opponent's defeat, he quickly upgraded to the top of the Dutch Domestic League and later the premier global organization. His promotion within the short time frame, especially at the Domestic League which is known for its great difficulty, earned him a position among the revered in the martial arts. When he joined Glory, he was out as a lightweight originally, before he advanced and was elected as a welterweight. After his three years' absence, the champion fans and even opponents all awaited the return of the destroyer in kickboxing on February 11, 2023. However, things took a turn for the worse when the glorious year of his return and taking over from Chris One as a catchweight turned sour. He was arrested on January 19, 2023, at his residence in Den Bosch after authorities traced him as being an active member engaging in fraudulent activities such as drug trafficking, arms trafficking, and money laundering. The authorities' suspicion and arrest of him during this period have become a threat to his career which has been on the rocks after so many similar incidents. As suspected, this is not the first time Jiraiya has been put under criminal investigation, but this suspension might just forever put him out of sight. According to authorities, Jiraiya's suspicion is based on him being on the wrong side of the law and also on the wrong side of several criminals he had clashes with over the years. However, it is a well-known fact that criminals' testimonies should not be wholeheartedly trusted. Police are still investigating to confirm whether or not the allegations are true. During the fighter's previous dealing with the law, the sanction for his actions seemed mild but aggravating as a celebrity. He was sentenced to 140 hours of community service and two months of imprisonment after being reported to be part of an altercation at two different times. This sanction was enforced based on allegations of Yareya's role in a brawl in court and several recorded violent actions. The community service was a result of his getting into a fight in a courtroom in 2018 during the trial of a Dutch Moroccan citizen's murder. For his violent acts, Jareya was charged with beating up several individuals at a New Year's Eve party in Brenda. When questioned about his part in the aggression, his response was, I'm a sportsman, I never drink. It was the first and the last time I had a few drinks, but I do not remember having hit so many people. I know what I risk. My career is at stake. I understood the lesson well. My career is my life. That's all I have. Mohamed Jiraiya's lavish lifestyle, especially during his three years of absence from kickboxing, was a huge tip for the Dutch authorities. His social media accounts have pictures of him in the company of unknown people, especially a man who in jest refers to as Al Pacino. He was also seen to have been with several famous rappers and influencers wearing very expensive designer clothes and several wristwatches worth millions of dollars. His overly lavish lifestyle got tongues wagging so much 
that even his loyal fans were suspicious of how he could afford the lifestyle since he has not been in the professional world for quite some time. It is possible that if he had not felt the need to publicize his illegally funded life, it might have taken even more tears or decades before suspicions would arise and justice be served. It is almost ironic that his craving for attention was a leading step toward his investigation. It is like a bad case of shooting oneself in the foot. After several investigations and undercover operations, it was clear that Jariah in no legal way could be able to afford his lifestyle. The occurrence that shoved him into the arms of the authorities was his conflict with crime lords over a stolen batch of cocaine. Jaraya, several times during the dispute, has received several death threats and attempts on his life as well as his family. Due to the feud between the two parties, the former butcher shop on Kapalan Kupmansplein in Den Bosch, which was owned by his father, had been twice targeted to get back at Jaraya. According to investigations, in July 2021, a hand grenade was thrown against the shop door, damaging the property and several cars in the area. Luckily, the effect of the attack had no cause for loss of life. After a few months, approximately half a year later, there was another attack on the butcher shop, despite the ship already having a new owner after it was sold. As proof of the attack, nine bullet holes were seen to have burrowed through the doors of the shop, maybe to send a message of obvious malice. If you are thinking that after these two terrifying death threats, everything returned back to normal, then you have never been so wrong. The next attempt on Jariah's life simply spoke the literal terms of, we know where you have been and what you have been up to. A gym on the Endenkui in Den Bosch was reported to have been seriously damaged, and the cause of the damage was investigated to be caused by a hand grenade being thrown into the building. This threat might have been what it took to shake off the bad boy bravado because it was stated that after the incident, Jayara reportedly fled to Dubai and tried to keep his head underwater until his arrest. A lot of information has not been released on this case and will most likely be hidden from the public eye until the criminals are apprehended. A few weeks before his big comeback, Jarea, during his press release, stated his excitement to return to kickboxing and sent a message to his fans to anticipate his return. He stated, There was a lot going on in my life, he said during a glory press conference about Rico Verhoeven. Now I feel human again. You can expect a fierce man during my upcoming match. My style was already violent, but I will now raise a few more levels. According to a recent report, the fighter's court date was set to February 1, 2023, when he is to appear and face a pretrial before the court, which then will determine the duration of his jail sentence. However, pretrial detention has been said to be extended by two weeks. Currently, the fighter is reported to be on disability and is only allowed contact with his lawyer. How all of this impacts his career in kickboxing is another story entirely. According to a spokesperson for Glory, he stated that they have been informed of Jariah's arrest, and despite not having any official charges to his arrest, Jariah will not participate in Glory 83 in Essen until further notice. He also added in his statement that their actions will only be prompted based on the reports of the authorities, but before then, the situation revolving around the case will be monitored. In hindsight, it is not an exaggeration to say that despite his previous clashes with the law, this might be the last opportunity for Jariah to call himself to order so he can have a chance at a life without regrets. The impact of this on his career is not fully known since it is still an ongoing case and there is yet to be a conclusion. Kickboxing is not as famous as other martial arts in the entertainment industry. Its violence and skill over decades have made many weary of it. It is only becoming slowly sucked into the sports and entertainment world. Muhammad, though a great asset, has joined the bandwagon of giving a terrible and violent impression of kickboxing to the world. Do fighters like Muhammad Jiraiya deserve a place in kickboxing? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification button for updates on new videos.